And as you can see, we have the success looking working fine. And also we have another, uh, well, the other three scenarios working fine too. At the end, all the tests are working and the job succeeded. Hey masters, welcome back to Juan Media. Thank you very much for watch and click this video. Today, we are gonna continue with this, uh, well, with the series of videos that we are doing about Cypress and Cucumber. But today we are gonna be using Cypress and GitLab. The idea is to run our Cucumber feature file, right? The one that we have created in the, in the past videos. Uh, in under the integration folder we had this login feature and my idea is to run this particular test in the GitLab plat platform so you can understand how you can do it easily and well without any kind of issue and and well the, the idea is to give you some insights about how you can use GitLab and and well also to to practice a bit about and well actually get to know this beautiful um, platform okay so uh, I, what i what i did basically was to create in the package.json file one script over here that is named run on chrome what is going to happen here is that we're going to be running cypress right we're using the browser chrome and it is going to be executing all the, the scripts that i have under the integration folder in this case i just have the login feature um so uh, if he if i execute this locally in my computer right i'm gonna execute in my terminal npm run uh, run on chrome okay you're gonna see that probably it is gonna um execute my suite right and it is gonna be executed in chrome but in the headless mode by default if i want to do it in head right in head mode you have to specify it here in the in the command but as you can see we have all the scenarios executed as you can see i have four test cases working and we also have here the logs that well we have a success login a block login an incorrect username login an incorrect password login that's fine so now i wanna uh, well bring my changes from the github right which is the place and the repository that i have um, my changes that actually you can access it uh, well if you want to join the community and you want to support this channel you're gonna have uh, well you can join this channel and you're gonna have all the links uh, well right away in, in your hand so you can come here and check this this repo right if you want to contribute and help me with some economic uh, contribution right um well so i wanted to also introduce you what is is gitlab gitlab is the devops platform delivered as a single application uh, well they say that this make gitlab unique and creates a streamlined software workflow unlocking your organization from constraints of a pieced together tool chain so uh, i highly recommend you to come here to this website which is docsgitlab.com and well you can come here and check all the keywords that ref it can be can be referenced in the gitlab ci jaml file this jaml file is a uh, well is going to be the document or the file that has all the set of instructions to set uh, the different stages and the different workflows okay uh, it is important to mention that the stages here are basically the names and order of the pipeline stages. Uh, if, we, if, we, if we come here to the stages documentation, you can see that, well, we use stages to define stages that contain groups of jobs. Use a stage in a job to configure the job to run in a, a specific stage. So here we have a, um, some uh, stages like build, test deploy pre and post and we can define it as you can see in this way in our jaml file so i'm gonna come here to the projects part um and well since i don't have any project right right now in the gitlab this is my my view and you can do uh, or you can create a new project like this one and i want to import the project from github over here okay um okay i'm gonna authenticate my github um well account over here and also i'm gonna look for my uh, cypress cucumber uh, repository let me look for it because i ah there it is yeah i'm gonna import this and well it is gonna start the importing uh, of my repository in gitlab and um, let's see if it if it uh, finish uh, quickly or not but i think that sometimes it, it gets um yeah as you can see i had to refresh the website because 
it was already completed but I, it didn't refresh immediately so once that i have this uh, ready i can go to my project and that's uh, that's basically the new project that i have cypress cucumber you can see that i only have one branch the one is master as you can see here and also i have all the project now already in my gitlab uh, project right that's important and that's fine actually it's pretty easy right so um as you can see it actually also uh, mentioned a, a, a commit that i did a push that i did like 10 minutes ago with a with a new uh, script that i have in my cypress uh, package.json right project um well i think that um let me see I can do the the next step is going to be going to my project and I'm gonna copy or actually I'm gonna click on setup CI CD. Okay, I'm gonna come here and as you can see, it is gonna tell me that we can optimize my workflow with CI CD pipelines and if I want to, it can create a new GitLab dash ci .yaml file at the root of the repository to get started. And I want to do it. I'm gonna create it. And I'm gonna delete all the stuff that I have here. As you can see, it gives me some uh, lines of code. You can see that we have stages here. We have the build, the test, the deploy. You can see here that we have, um, well, the, the job name, right? And also the stage that it it it, it is, right? Where, where it is, or, well, depending on the stage that you want to run the job, you can specify that right there. Um, we can run some scripts. And, but I want to do this from, from scratch, okay? Or actually I can um, modify this file, okay? Uh, in this case, I just want to have the stage uh, test over here. That's fine. I'm gonna delete this. And also, um, well, my, my job is gonna be a test one, okay? The stage over here is gonna be test. That's the stage where I want to execute my job. And also the script is gonna be pretty simple. Uh, it, it is going to contain um npm um ci right it is going to help us to uh, well install all the dependencies in, in our project right and then what i want to do is run mpx cypress uh, or not yeah let me see um, it should be npm run i guess and i can specify the name of my of my script in my project which is run on Chrome, okay? In this case, I'm, I'm gonna be using um, something called, a, well, actually an image, a Docker image from the, from what well, actually a Docker image that is provided by by um, by Cypress, okay? Let me check where, where I can access the, the Docker, Cypress Docker images, okay? Right there, I'm gonna look for it and I want to, well, access the the Cypress browsers images, and I want to look for for the for the well the newest, which is this one, and I want to well have the name of it, which is this one. Okay, that's that's the image that I'm gonna be using. This image, as you can see, has access to the latest uh, Google Chrome, right, and also the latest Firefox configuration, so I can run my my scripts with with Chrome or Firefox depending on my needs. In this case, as you remember, in my script, it is gonna be using Google Chrome. Um, so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna specify um, another key over here, which is going to be um, the image uh, keyword, right? This image keyword is gonna help us to specify what image we need to use. In this case, I want to specify that I want to run my tests using this image over here. That's important. And I think that I can delete the rest of the of the wall of the YAML file because I don't need it. I also don't need this. So we can have like clear insights of what is happening. I just have one test uh, stage and I'm using this image over here and I have, well, my, my test job linked to, to the test stage. And well, what, what I'm gonna be doing is installing the dependencies and also run these de dependencies or actually this uh, framework uh, with this command, which is gonna be executing my Cucumber framework, a small framework, <laughs> and uh, but using GitLab, right? And that's amazing. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna commit my changes and as you can see, it is actually executing my job. So I'm gonna look for um, for my pipelines, 
okay? And as you can see, it is actually running my test. And if I access the pipeline ID, the, this, the, the only one that I have, you can see that it is actually executing my test job. And if I inspect the inside of the test job, well, um, it is currently um, using or actually downloading the, the Cypress image, the browser is one. And well, you're gonna see that probably in a few seconds, it is gonna be installing the Cypress dependencies inside of the image, right? Or actually in the environment. And then, uh, well, we can execute successfully the, the, the command uh, run and Chrome. I hope so. Let's see if it works or not. I hope that it does. <clears throat> it can take, uh, well, a few seconds, I think. And well, I just wanted to, uh, well, say thank you because we're growing this channel a lot. Please subscribe, let a like, because it is kind of exciting thing for me. Thank you very much for your support. And as you can see, well, right now, um, it is installing the dependencies and that's fine. And then, uh, well, probably it is going to be executing my test suite um, at the end, right? So let's see if it works or not. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, it is taking a bit uh, and well, it is currently running NPM run on Chrome. That's that's amazing. And let's see if we have the same results that we have here in the terminal, right? Which was a login page with four passing tests. And well, it's, it is failing to connect the bus, it's saying, but it is running the, the test. That's amazing. Uh, it, as you can see, it, it is finding my login that feature file and it is running my tests right now. Let's see if, if we have some results here. Mm -hmm. and as you can see, we have the success looking working fine. That's amazing. And also we have another, uh, well, the other three scenarios working fine too. And as you can see, well, we have a video here, but uh, I should have uh, disabled that. So I didn't, I don't waste <laughs> my free plan over here. But as you can see at the end, all the tests are working and the job succeeded. And that's how you can integrate easily uh, Cypress with with um, GitLab. Also, you can use other images. You can you can avoid the the use the usage of Docker. But well, it, it, it actually I think that it is easy and and well you can use it for sure well if i come here to my repo now every single change that i commit in this repository is going to be uh, uh, well triggering the pipeline right and in case something is wrong well probably the merge is not going to work or you can configure that of course but as you can see uh, well here the status is passed the pipeline is this the id is this one it pa it took like 40 seconds 45 seconds uh, or actually no two minutes and and 30, and 30 seconds and it is fine I, I guess but well the idea was to show you that you can run your tests on on this uh, gitlab um well platform and well as you can see uh, i have a new file in my repository which is gitlab ci jamil and this is the configuration file uh, that you need to commit in order to run your tests on gitlab and well guys i think that that's pretty much my 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 video this week i hope that you enjoy it and and if you want to um well have more videos about cypress gitlab and automation in general please let me know in the comment section because i'm gonna try to keep uploading videos in the future thank you very much this was young media and see you in the next one bye bye